out of order. Alright, so yo, the new iPhone 4 is finally here, man. In less than four weeks, the new iPhone 4 is gonna be on shelves, man. Dude, I can't believe it myself. This is crazy. This is madness. This is bananas. I mean, yeah, I did just spend about $200 getting a 3GS about five, six months ago. And then five, six months ago before that, I did drop about another $200 just to get the 3G. But that's not the point. The iPhone 4 is here. That's all that matters. I don't think that you understand. For real, this iPhone 4 is history in the making. All right, now let's go over the features. You got some, some rented to detail whatever that means pretty much saying that the iphone 4 is sharper than ever i mean can you believe this check out the 3gs graphics check this out all right now take a little look at the 4g graphics yeah man it don't even matter if the picture looks exactly the same just that there's a little camera right here that don't matter son check out the graphics it's the iphone 4 son oh hold on wait what you can record in hd now with the iphone 4 son come on you killing me smalls now anywhere i go i can record in hd man that's just flat out crazy crazy man blowing my mind right now even though it's already been done by sony ericsson the vin x or vivez or something like that it don't even matter it's the iphone 4 after i capture all this footage on my iphone 4 i'm gonna import it to my computer and make the dopest edits man you better believe it son brand new multitasking system man there ain't nothing like multitasking iphone i love you you rock my socks last but not least the most impressive feature ever is the facetime application thing that they got going on for those who don't know what it is is well you know the video capturing that they added on the last iphone well now you can take that to the next level son call up any of your friends anywhere you know what i mean hit the video call button and there you are you're no longer just talking you're talking with video son it's the iphone 4 man revolutionary once again for the fourth time Son, if y'all didn't figure out that I was shamming y'all throughout this whole video, y'all need to watch some more Out of Order Wednesday, for real. Listen, man, iPhone 4, overrated, flat out. Let's go back over those features one more time. Okay, HD recording. It's been done already. The Sony Ericsson Vivids or something like that already did it a few months back. Also, Apple had full capability to add HD recording on the 3GS. Not done. When you record videos on the iPhone, format comes out like 348TY3 or something like that. Son, what am I supposed to do with that footage, man? Out of order. Next, the iPhone interface graphics look sharper than ever. Come on, man. Let's go back to the pictures. Check out this 3GS picture. As you can see, take a good look at it. Now, let's go to this iPhone 4 picture. Take a good look at it. Yeah, it's the same exact thing. Same time on the phone, same applications in the same spots. But as you can see, they cut it off in a fourth or something like that. Add a little camera to it and just thought that nobody was going to pay attention to that. Come on, son. For real. Yeah, if y'all really got them graphics like you say, you should be showing them off. Next, hmm, multitasking? Uh, who cares? Next, now I'm not gonna lie, this one right here, the FaceTime application thingy, is a pretty big deal. But as it's only starting off, it's not gonna be as cool as you think it is. How many friends that you know gonna buy an iPhone first round up? And FaceTime is an Apple application, so it's not like any of your friends that have sidekicks or anything else gonna be able to use it. Only your friends that have specifically the iPhone 4, not the iPhone 3GS, not the iPhone 3G, not the iPhone first generation. I heard that they were in talks with Skype, get some type of deal with that going on or something like that. But that's only rumors. All right, so let me inform y'all what's really going on. They have this finished product, right? And instead of selling the finished product and making one profit off of it, what they do is they take the finished product, cut it in half, maybe even cut it in fourths, and sell it like that until they get up to the finished product. So instead of making $200 off of it, they really make $800, you know what I mean? I mean, you just gotta be on the lookout for things like this because at the end of the day, money is the root of all evil. Yeah.